we just shorten words in everyday speech. In English, we shorten our words using contractions. I've done a couple of lessons on contractions where I taught what contraction is, when we should use contractions, and why we should use contractions. If you haven't watched that lesson, I'll try and place the card here and the link in the description box. I would want you to go over and know why English speakers use contractions why we should use contractions it is necessary for our everyday speech to shorten our words and sound like a native speaker hello welcome again to exercise academy my name is esther if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe and if you like this video give this video a thumbs up you can also follow us on other social media platforms the name is exercise academy what is contraction i'll give an introduction because i've taught previously what contraction is Contractions are shortened words that use an apostrophe to combine two words into one. So when you shorten two words by using an apostrophe to combine the words into one, that is called a contraction. Our topic on contractions today is pronoun plus the be verbs. These are the most common contractions you would use and hear when speaking. When forming a contraction with the verb to be, we can use the simple present tense of the verb like what we have on the board, okay? So let's get started. So here we have the base words, and we'll have the contracted words here, okay? Now let's begin. The first word we have is I am. I am. You have the pronoun I and the verb am. I am. I am. Now when you contract these words, if you, when, you, when you change it using contraction, you have I, apostrophe, and am. So we have I am. I am. So we'll do away with the A. We'll shorten the word AM, am, using the apostrophe, and we have M. I am. I am. Okay. Next we have you are. You are. You are changes to you, apostrophe, R E. You will. You will. So we've changed the word, the words you are to you will. You will. Next we have she is. She is. Changing to its contracted form, we have she's. 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 Good. Okay. I want you to repeat after me and let's go on together. We have he is. He is. Changing to its contracted form, we have he is, he is, he is, okay? Then we have it is, it is becomes it's, it's, okay? We have we are, we are becomes we're, 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 we're. Then they are. They are becomes their. 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 Okay, so these are the basic contractions you will hear or use when speaking. Let's look at another set of contractions using the be verb. Next we have this. That is. That is becomes that. That. Good. There is, there is becomes there's, there's. Somebody is, somebody is becomes somebody's, somebody's, somebody apostrophe n, somebody's, somebody's, good. No one is, no one is becomes no one's. No one's just an, an apostrophe and the s. Then we have someone is. Someone is becomes someone's. Someone's. Good. Something is. Something is becomes something's. 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 Okay, lastly we have Esther is. Esther is becomes Esther is. Esther is. My first trip is S. Okay, 
don't forget that these contracted words are used when speaking so you hear these words or you can use these words when speaking but when you're writing you use the base words it's ideal especially when you're writing formal letters or formal writings you make use of your base words but when it's an informal writing you can use contracted words or so contracted words are mainly used when speaking now let's look at these contracted words in sentences so these are words with the base form we're going to change the base words to its contracted form i want us to do it together so we'll read the sentence then we'll change it to its contracted form okay number one i am going to the park i am going to the park i am going to the park sounds so if you want to sound like a native speaker, you change I am to its contracted form. It becomes I am. So you'd say, instead of saying I am going to the park, it's better to say I'm going to the park. I'm going to the park. So the am here changes to um. I am, I am, I'm going to the park. I'm going to the park. I am going to the park. Let's look at the second sentence. Let's read it together. You are learning English. You are learning English. Now if someone says you are learning English, it's not sounding nice to the ears. But if you say you're learning English, so you are becomes you, you, you're learning English, you're learning English. Okay, so that's the best way to say it. You, you, you're learning English, you're going to work, you're eating, you're sleeping, you're talking, not you are talking or you are eating. You, 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 okay? Now the next sentence, she is staying with a brother. She is staying with a brother. So you say, she is, she is. She is staying with a brother, not she is staying with a brother. The is changes to is, is. She is, she is, she is staying with a brother. She is staying with a brother, okay? Now the next is, he is a nice person. He is a nice person. If someone says he is a nice person, it is too stiff. He must be flexible and speak advanced. So instead of saying he is a nice person, you say his, his, his. Okay, so let's change it and read it together. His, he's a nice person. He's a nice person. How does it sound? It sounds so sweet. He's a nice person. Okay, now let's look at the next. It is raining. Oh, it is raining. Mm -mm. Oh, it's, it's. So it becomes it's oh it's raining it's raining it's it's okay the next we have we are going to the beach this weekend we are going to the beach this weekend okay it becomes weird weird so we have uh, weird we're going to the beach this weekend we're going to the beach, we're going, we're going, we're playing, we're eating, we're learning, we're, we're, okay? And the last on this set we have is, they are late, they are late, it becomes there, 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 they're late, they're late. Now let's look at some of the sentences. That is interesting, that is interesting. Now let's change it to its contracted form. It becomes that. So that is changes to that. That. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. The next is there is a book on the table. There is a book on the table. How will you say it? Can I give it a try? There is a book on the table. Say it again. Let me hear you. Good. There's. So you don't say there is. You say there's. There's a book on the table. There's a book on the table. So we have there's. There's a book on the table. There's. Okay. The next sentence is this. Somebody is coming. Somebody is coming. 
changing to its contracted form, it becomes somebody's. Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. Somebody's coming. Okay, same way. No one's coming. No one is coming. No one is coming becomes no one's coming. No one's coming. Someone is at the door. Someone is at the door. No, let's contract the sentence. Someone's at the door. Someone's. 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 Someone's at the door. Someone's. Not someone is at the door. But someone's at the door. Someone's at the door. Someone's watching. Someone's. 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 Okay. Next we have something is wrong. Oh my God. Something is wrong. That is wrong. That already on its own is wrong. You say, oh my God, something's wrong. Something's, something's, okay? Something, something's wrong. Something's not right. Something's, something's not well. Something's not in place. Something's, something's. Esther is teaching. Esther is teaching. It becomes Esther is teaching, okay? So Esther is becomes Esther is. Esther is, Esther is, Esther is teaching, Esther is teaching, Esther is teaching, okay? Of course I'm teaching. I know this video is perfect for improving your vocabulary, your listening and speaking vocabulary. So expand your vocabulary by listening to this lesson over and over again and learn to use contractions when speaking. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, subscribe. The name is Extra Stars Academy and follow us on other social media platforms also. The name is Extra Stars Academy. Don't forget to press the bell so you'll be notified on our lessons. We'll be having contractions every week. Don't forget to watch the previous lessons on contractions. Watch this lesson and stay notified on next lessons on contractions. And one way you can improve is when you use these contractions in your daily conversation. So use these contractions and improve yourself. Till so we'll meet again in our next lesson, keep on practicing because practice makes perfect. Bye for now.